Dear students, the next chapter is Principles of Inheritance and Variations, Genetics chapter. In this video, let us first discuss some important 5 marks and 3 mark questions for final PUC exam. The first question is, explain the pattern of one gene inheritance or monohybrid cross. It is for 5 marks. Remember, monohybrid cross is also called as one gene inheritance. For this, first we have to define what is a monohybrid cross or one gene inheritance. Monohybrid cross means a cross or hybridization in between two plants based on one pair of contrasting characters is called as monohybrid cross or one gene inheritance. So Mendel selected height of the plant in monohybrid cross as tall capital T capital T and dwarf small t small t. Mendel conducted a cross in between pure tall plant it is capital T capital T and a dwarf plant small t small t and he got only tall plants with capital T small t in F1 generation. Again by conducting a cross in between two F1 hybrids, he got both tall plants and dwarf plants in F2 generation. So these are the some of the important valid points for monohybrid cross. Along with these points, we have to write and we have to draw the flowchart for monohybrid cross. In this, the monohybrid cross or one gene inheritance. So first we have to take the parental combination in this the first parent is tall with capital T capital T and second parent dwarf with small t small t. So during conducting a cross in between these two individuals both parents can produce only one type of gametes because of homozygous condition. In this the first parent can produce only one type of gametes all gametes are with a capital T allele. The second parent can produce one type of gametes. All gametes are with a small t alleles. So these gametes are fused randomly to form F1 generation. It is called F1 hybrid. This F1 hybrid is tall in nature because of heterozygous condition capital T small t. So that Mendel got only tall plants in F1 generation. Again, by conducting a cross in between two F1 hybrids, so this F1 hybrid, because of heterozygous condition, it can produce two types of gametes. In this, the 50% of gametes are with the capital T and 50% of gametes are with the small t. So these gametes are fused randomly to form F2 generation. In this F2 generation, the first combination capital T, capital T, it becomes into tall and second third combination it becomes into capital T small t and phenotypically it is a tall and the fourth combination is small t small t it become dwarf. So it is the flowchart for monohybrid cross. In this pattern only you should draw the flowchart for this question. Along with that we should mention the phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio. So monohybrid cross phenotypic ratio, so tall is to dwarf is equal to 3 is to 1 and genotypic ratio capital T capital T is to capital T small t is to small t small t it is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 1. Along with that, so based on this experiment knowledge, Mendel proposed two important laws. In this, the first law is law of dominance. According to law of dominance, the characters are controlled by discrete unit called factors. So factors occur in pair. In a dissimilar pair, it is heterozygous of factor. One member of the pair, it is dominates. It is called dominant and other is recessive. It is law of dominance proposed by Mendel and it is the first law of inheritance. Along with that, based on monohybrid cross experiment knowledge, Mendel proposed one more law. It is law of segregation. According to this law, 
the factor or alleles of a pair segregates from each other such that a gamete receive only one of the two factor it is called law of segregation and this law of segregation is also called as law of purity of gametes it is a these are the two important laws related to mono hybrid cross it is the five mark question and for this five marks you should mention the first valid points after that you should draw this flow chart in this pattern only then only you will get full marks for this question the second question is explain the concept of incomplete dominance with an example it is also five mark question for this question we should write some valid points along with flow chart the definition for incomplete dominance is in mono hybrid cross the f1 hybrid did not resemble either of two parents that means the f1 hybrid not having any one of the parental character and was in between the two parents is called as incomplete dominance so the f1 hybrid not showing any one of the parental combination and when it is present in heterozygous condition that can express a new trait it is not seen in parents is called as incomplete dominance so best example for this incomplete dominance is the snapdragon is also called as anterenum majors it is example for incomplete dominance so in snapdragon the flower color red capital r capital r is a dominant over white small r small r in a cross in between red flower plant with the white flower plant in f1 hybrid because of heterozygous condition the f1 hybrid gets pink color flowers due to capital r small r heterozygous condition so again by conducting a cross in between two f1 hybrid the f2 generation having red pink white color flowers with 1 is to 2 is to 1 as phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio so these are the valid points for this question as a answer along with that we should draw the flow chart for this question like this the incomplete dominance first we should mention the parental combination here the red flower with the capital r capital r white flower with small r small r these are parental combination by conducting a cross in between these two individuals both parents can produce only one type of gametes the first dominant parent can produce one type of gametes with a capital r allele and second parent can produce gametes with a small r allele so these gametes are fused randomly to form f1 generation and here the f1 hybrid because of heterozygous condition like a capital r small r it gets pink color flower so that in f1 generation the f1 hybrid it not showing any one of the parental character but it can express a new character that's why it is example for incomplete dominance so again by conducting a cross in between two f1 hybrids like this hyper f1 hybrid can produce two types of gametes because of heterozygous condition so here the f1 hybrid it can produce two types of gametes in this 50% of gametes are with the capital r allele and 50% of gametes are with the small r allele so these gametes are fused randomly to form f2 generation in this f2 generation the first combination is capital r capital r it become red color flower at second third combination because of heterozygous condition capital r small r it becomes pink color flower and fourth combination it becomes small r small r express white color flower so it is the flow chart you should draw this flow chart for this question as a answer along with that you should mention the phenotypic and genotypic ratio so incomplete dominance phenotypic ratio red is to pink is to white is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 1 and genotypic ratio capital r capital r capital r small r small r small r it also becomes into 1 is to 2 is to 1 so due to incomplete dominance the both been phenotypic and genotypic ratio it becomes into 1 is to 2 is to 1 it is the answer for second question 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन प्रीवियसली दिस क्वेश्चन आस्ड मेनी टाइम्स इन पी यू एग्जामिनेशन द क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द इनहेरिटेंस पैटर्न ऑफ डाई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस और टू जीन इनहेरिटेंस इट इज फॉर फाइव मार्क्स सो फॉर दिस फर्स्ट वी शुड डिफाइन द डेफिनेशन वॉट इज डाई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस सो डाई हाइब्रिड क्रॉस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज टू जीन इनहेरिटेंस द डेफिनेशन इज a cross or hybridization in between two plants based on two pairs of contrasting characters is called as dihybrid cross or two gene inheritance the next point mendel selected seed shape of the seed and color of the seed in with a contrasting pair and he conducted a cross in between round yellow seeded plants with a wrinkled green seeded plants and he got only round yellow seeded plants in f1 generation but another recessive character not expressed in f2 generation f1 generation and again by conducting a cross in between these two f1 hybrids in f2 generation he got parental combination like round yellow wrinkled green along with that new combinations are also obtained with 9:3:3:1 as a phenotypic ratio so these are the points you should mention for this question as a answer along with that you should draw this flow chart in this pattern only then only you will get a full marks so dihybrid cross or two gene inheritance first parental combination so the parents are round yellow with a capital r capital r capital y capital y wrinkled green with a small r small r small y small y so these uh, parental combinations can produce only one type of gametes because of homozygous condition the first parent can produce one type of gametes with a capital r capital y and second parent can produce gametes with a small r small y these gametes are fused randomly to form f1 generation this f1 hybrid because of heterozygous condition it expresses round yellow character again by conducting a cross in between two f1 hybrids this f1 hybrid because of heterozygous condition it can produce a four type of gametes in this the first type of gametes are capital r capital y second type is with a capital r small y third type is with a small r capital y and fourth type is with a small r small y so these are the four different types of gametes produced by f1 hybrid so these gametes are fused randomly to form different combination that can easily understand with punnett square method so here so totally 16 offsprings are produced in f2 generation in dihybrid cross in this nine combinations like here so it is the first combination capital r capital r capital y capital y and second combination is capital r capital r capital y small y the next combination capital r small r capital y capital y and here the capital r capital r capital y small y here capital r small r capital y capital y and these four combinations this can it be, it can becomes into capital r small r capital y small y so all these uh, nine individuals it will becomes into round yellow it is one of the dominant parental character the next combinations are so these three individuals capital r capital r small y small y capital r small r small y small y capital r small r small y small y these three individuals becomes into round green the next combination the next three individuals because of a uh, small r small r capital y capital y small r small r capital y small y small r small r capital y small y it becomes into wrinkled yellow and the last combination is small r small r small y small y so it becomes into wrinkled green so in this way totally 16 offsprings are produced in f2 generation in the 16 offsprings we can observe four genotypes and we should calculate the phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio of dihybrid cross experiment here the dihybrid cross phenotypic ratio so round yellow it is equal to 
round green it is equal to 3 wrinkled yellow is equal to 3 and wrinkled green is equal to 1 so that its phenotypic ratio is calculated as 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio is calculated as 1 is to 2 is to 2 4 is to 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 2 is to 1 it is a phenotypic and genotypic ratio of dihybrid cross so mendel based on this dihybrid cross experiment he proposed one more law one of the another law it is called as law of independent assortment so according to this law of independent assortment when two pairs of traits are combined in a hybrid the segregation of one pair of character is independent of other pair of character because in dihybrid cross he selected shape of the seed is one character color of the seed another character so both these characters perform independent assortment that is about dihybrid cross or two gene inheritance proposed by mendel the next question it is a splitted question in final examination you will get a split questions from genetics like this the fourth question is question a write a note on sickle cell anemia it is a three mark question for this question we should write some important valid points like this the first point is sickle cell anemia is an autosome linked recessive disorder in rbc red blood cells the beta chain of globin chain has glutamic acid is amino acid at a sixth position it is due to gag genetic code in dna as a genetic code next point due to point imitation so gag becomes into gtg in dna and in mrna gug is a present and due to GUG, the glutamic acid is replaced by valine at the sixth position of beta polypeptide chain. And next point, abnormal hemoglobin is formed and this abnormal hemoglobin undergoes polymerization under low oxygen tension and it converts the biconcave RBC into elongated sickle shape. It is the main character of sickle cell anemia. In this sickle cell anemia, HBS, HBS, it becomes into sickle cell anemia condition. HBA, HBS, it becomes into carrier for sickle cell anemia. So these are the valid points for sickle cell anemia. If the question is asked for three marks, then you will get three marks. And the next question is question B what is test cross and what write its significance it is for two marks only for this two marks we should write some points like this a cross in between unknown parent or f1 hybrid with recessive parent is called as test cross that means the unknown parent is crossed with recessive parent is referred to as test cross and the test cross it helps to know the genotype of unknown individual it is the significance of test cross along with that we should uh, draw this flow chart and in this flow chart it is a f1 hybrid having capital t small t genotype recessive parent always with a small t small t so f1 hybrid can produce a two types of gametes 50 percent of gametes are with a capital t and 50 percent of gametes are with small t Recessive parent because of homogeneous condition it can produce only one type of gametes and these gametes are fused to form different combination in this the first combination capital T small t it become tall and uh, next combination it becomes into small t small t it become dwarf so that mono hybrid test cross phenotypic and genotypic ratio it is calculated as 1 is to 1. So, in this way, you should draw the flowchart for test cross. Next, question number 5. It is also splitted question. The question A is, write a note on hemophilia. It is for 3 marks. The valid points for this question. The hemophilia is X-linked recessive disorder. 
can transfer the disorder from unaffected carrier mother to her son only. In this disease, the blood clotting process, it is called cascade. This process is affected due to lack of blood clotting factors that leads to non-stop bleeding even in simple cut. That is the character of hemophilia. In this disorder, males are affected but female act as a carrier every time. Sometimes female also becomes into hemophilia when her father it should be hemophilic and mother should be carrier in this condition only female also affected with the hemophilia. Best example for hemophilia it is Quinn Victoria family. So these are the valid points for this question for three marks. One more splitted question it is a two marks B write a note on phenylketonuria. The first point is phenylketonuria is an autosome linked recessive disorder and it is an inborn error of metabolism. The affected person he lack an enzyme that enzyme it convert the phenylalanine amino acid into tyrosine. So due to mutation the phenylalanine enzyme not produced so that phenylalanine accumulated and converted into phenylpyruvic acid and other derivatives that leads to mental retardation in phenylketonuria. So these are the valid points for this question for two marks. One more very important question it is the sixth question splitted question A. So write a note on Down syndrome. It is for two marks. A Down syndrome is an example for trisomy and its karyotype is 45 plus XX or 45 plus XY. Here additionally 21st chromosome is present. The characters of Down syndrome first character short stature with small round head, furrowed tongue and partially open mouth. Palm is broad with crease. Physical, psychomotor and mental development is retarded. So it is a very important question for 2 marks. Sometimes it may ask for 3 marks also. So these points are valid points for Down syndrome. The question B is also 2 mark question. Write a note on Kleine Felter syndrome. And answer for this question is Kleine Felter syndrome is an example for trisomy and its karyotype is 44 plus XXY. In this uh, disorder, additionally, one extra X chromosome is present in nucleus. The characters of Kleine Felter syndrome is the tall stature, masculine development with the feminine characters. Development of breast, it is called gynecomastia and the males are sterile in nature. So these are the characters of Kleine filter syndrome. These are valid points for 2 marks and if they are asked the question for 3 marks, these points are enough for 3 marks also. The last question is question C. Write a note on Turner syndrome, it is for 1 mark. The Turner syndrome is an example for monosomy and its karyotype is 44 plus X0. In this one X chromosome is lost. The characters are ovaries are rudimentary, lack of secondary sexual characters and these are sterile in nature. So these are the points for Tur uh, Turner's syndrome for one mark. So when you write the answers in this way, definitely you will get full marks for every question.